I made it down to camp. Just started snowing this winter storm is the but I'm pretty plenty uh warm. Got the hand warmers waiting on my train to northbound. I'ma try to land myself in a bunch of snow. That'll make the video more interesting anyway. But yeah, that appointment for January 11th I had, they called the day before and changed it to January 14th. So I go in on the 14th and they said, yeah, definitely you're going to need to see a colorectal surgeon. So next week sometime they're gonna call, uh, the surgeon is gonna call and set me up. Uh, a date for the surgery so I just wanted to let everybody know that that's finally moving on pretty good now uh, trying out my new backpack it ain't snowed much just trying to keep my water from freezing it looks like they painted over all the old tags but I did a new one there. Looks like they missed some. But anyway, yeah, look at all this home bomb garbage. Can't even walk straight. Yeah, the mid train will be about here. They'll crew change up a half mile. And then the train will be about mid-train here. And the end of the train will be down near Spruce. Well, if it wasn't so darn windy either. Yeah, that's fresh paint over everything now. Yeah. Straight up yard, yard office, a half mile. Well, my train will come in from that way. Boy, I hope I get me a good dry boxcar. Or a DPU. But for now, just kind of a quick update on what this video is going to be. I'm going to try to get to Hagerstown and Harrisburg on this trip. Alright, we got one coming in, my train. Hope to God it's something to ride. Better get my gear on. Oh, yeah. Got a box car. Plug door. I hate plug doors, but I'm out of the snow. It's really going to be getting heavy. Doing crew change right now. Let me get some. More of these insulators down here. It'll be night for long and no one will see that door really. I gotta turn the camera off so I can move this cardboard. Yeah, what daylight I got left, I'm gonna get rolled out. I saved one of these to roll out on. Sure keeps that cold up off the floor. Look how insulated that is. Then I put my tarp and then my mat and then my bedroll system. So uh, I'll wait till we get going good before I roll out. And I laid a bunch of that stuff up against the door so they can't see in if by one in a million chance 
someone does look in. Oh, it's so out of the wind in here. No more wind. See how that cardboard stacks there? And it's going to be night here in an hour anyway, so. It's probably 24, 25, but we're expecting a foot of snow or more. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning when I get off the train or when it gets to daylight and I'm still on the train, be close to Hagerstown, Maryland, there might be two foot of snow on the ground. I hear them tinkering with the brakes. Hear that? Fixing to take off. It's not snowing that much, but it's supposed to get really heavy. But thank the maker, I scored this box car. The only thing I don't like is that plug door. If they see them open, they'll shut them. Of course, I'll just get off wherever, move to another car, but uh, it's gonna get night before long, and maybe we'll go through Roanoke during the dark. No one will notice. Yeah, I had to get some munchies. Stuff me and Ken cooked up. Peanut butter crackers. Chili. Gatorade. Ritz crackers. And for quick energy. Two gallons of water. Yeah, next time we stop, I'm gonna get out and tighten that crank down a little more on that door. Cause once you pull it open and you crank it back down like you're trying to shut it, and it pulls that door against the wall so it don't slide. It's not all the way it can be. I mean, it ain't gonna move, but I won't be able to sleep until I crank that bad boy down all the way.
Yeah, they're expecting a foot of snow and the further north we're going here it's going to even be more like 16 that's just in the last 45 minutes yeah, I think I got that door cranked enough he's starting to pull again I like when the snow gets real deep and you're riding on the train. All that snow blows in, goes to the back of the train. Well, once we get rolling, I'm gonna roll out my sleeping bag. Uh, it's not too bad. It's cold in here. Absolutely no wind. So I'll sleep good rolling in all that train noise. All right. Got a speed restriction. Oh, that's slick ice. Almost getting dark. Should wake up around north of Roanoke if it doesn't get yarded in Roanoke. Midnight right now. I can't believe this snow picks up with that light. We got a lot of snow on the ground up here.
Well, finally morning. We've been sitting just south of the yard in Roanoke since 2 a.m. Not sure how much snow we got. It's not that cold, but it is windy. I tried to pee a hole in the snow down to the rocks, but it was just scattering too much, so uh, just gold snow. I don't want to jump out and have to jump back in. Yeah, you can see the other tracks over there. That coal, tr coal trains use that track over there, but you can tell there ain't been a train on it since it snowed. I don't know if today being the holiday <laughs> slowed things up. It never has before when I've been riding. See them big circles? You can tell they had big, big paper rolls in here. That's what kind of has me worried. They may yard this train in Roanoke because there's a lot of paper industry around yeah they have these big giant paper rolls they're about eight foot tall solid big wrap of paper like the jolly green giant toilet paper roll yeah, it's above freezing because all that snow that blew in is melted Uh, we should be going, but I hope we just crew change and go on. As long as it's ever taken me to go uh, Bristol to Roanoke. But I slept like a baby. Good Lord, I slept good rolling down the tracks. And those cardboard black sure help keep that cold off of you yeah these best invention on earth with hand warmers I hear them I hear them tinkering with the train there may be a crew back on it now That's looking towards the end of the train. I haven't been able to tell if there's a DPU on here or not. But yeah, up there at that overpass, there's a, a Sheets gas station. That's that overpass I made a couple of videos under. Yeah, look at that wind. Gonna get cold tonight. Well, we're finally going, but I don't, I don't know if we're going on. We may be going in the yard. there for about eight hours.
thinking about just getting off here That snow ain't too deep. Well, I gotta gather my thoughts somewhere out of the wind. I just happened to see this little shanty. <sighs> <sighs> Ain't been nobody here in a while. Door was already open. Uh, is there a calendar on the wall or something? Uh, at least I can get out of the wind and gather my thoughts. There's a bunch of them. Thought that might be a newspaper with my with the date on it. <sighs> At least it ain't been tramped out. Anyway, I'm gonna see how to get out of this yard. We're on the wrong side. That's the train right there I come in on. If he were just a crew change and go on, he'd been on the other end of the yard. So they're gonna yard that train. Just my luck. Hey, there goes the southbound. I don't know what he's doing on this track. Maybe he'll stop. Unless that track on the other end of the yard is out of service and they're south and northbound are using this. Come on, baby, stop. I'll grab on to you. I just don't want them to see me. There's the head end right there. stopped far up enough though that's about where I got off where he stopped mm. yeah I could put that hard hat on and act like I'm a worker old beat up batteries there's a heater and electric in here I doubt the electric works but let's see what this guy is going to do uh, if he would have just stopped a little further up because the snow's done with it ain't going to snow anymore I can ride a grainer yeah, that train I come in on is that one moving right there. He didn't have no DPU, and I had no way of telling when I got on. I wouldn't have got on it, because anything that stops in Bristol without a DPU is only going here to Roanoke. God, I hate trying to get out of this yard, but I'm hoping this train here will stop and there's a ride in front of me there's several overhead signals he's got to stop at before he can get out on the main down that way so i'll just wait and see doesn't look like too much tire traffic just the dozers come out here and did the ice but this reminds me uh irondale alabama the irondale yard there in birmingham I found me a little shanty like this and it was operational but no one was in it no cars around it and they had a couple of showers 
shower stalls inside of it. Man, I took my clothes off as fast as I could, jumped in that hot shower, took me a nice shower, jumped out, put fresh clean clothes on, and no more did I get out of there and hid in the woods across from it. The bull shows up. He come back outside and he's looking all around and I'm hiding behind the tree. He couldn't figure out where that hot steam in there would come from. This was way back before they had cameras though. Yeah, if this baby stops, I'm gonna get on it. The weather's supposed to get nothing but good now. It sure is windy as all get out. It's probably 30, 32. There goes a good ride right there. But that wind chill is probably about 20, 15 or 20. Now he's rolling pretty good so far. But there's a couple of more signals ahead unless he's got it green all the way. If you look, you'll notice an overpass up here. There's an overpass bridge right, right there. But to the right of it is a river and you can't get across. So if you go that way, you gotta cross like 50 sets of tracks to get to an access road. So this is gonna be real fun getting out of this yard unless this train stops. Let's just hope. Now he's doing about, oh, 10 miles an hour right now. And those footprints I left in the snow coming in here, the snow is a lot higher over here, so you can't just like drive by out on that road and see them unless you're 15 foot tall. A lot of potash on that. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this is where that bull is that knows me. He's always been really cool. But the thing is, if one of them grainers is in front of me and stops, it's going to be a god off a lot of snow that I'm going to have to move. Uh, he's still doing about the same. But you walk up past that overpass up here, about a quarter mile, and there's a, looks like a exercise trail, but it looks like it's surrounded by a fence. I'm gonna have to really look at the maps close and see, because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to walk out of this yard nothing but tanks yeah it was nice in that box car that thing didn't hunt or sway or anything had I just known though it it didn't have no DPUs I was a little bit too close up to the crew change office to notice plus the snow I couldn't see uh, limited visibility, probably quarter mile visibility with that snow yesterday when I got on. I didn't get much riding video. Well, there's a ride. He's actually doing a little faster now. He may have the green light all the way out. All I can do is just start walking and grit my teeth or grit my gums or just make a bunch of noise and hope I get caught, get it over with. Yeah, he's building up speed now. Uh, I think there's some DPUs coming now. Or a DPU. 
Boy, I wish you'd dead stop right here. Here's another little shanty. Boy, it's slick out there too. I should have brought my snow cleats. I kind of left in a hurry. Didn't think about it. But them snow cleats, heck, you could walk up a 45 degree embankment of ice. Kind of wondering if it's shorter to go south, go left, and get out of here. Yeah. <sighs> Well, looks like he just tinkers from here on out. See, as you can see, there's the yard down there. I just, I was trapped like a rat. I still am. There's no way to get around. and You can't get off the yard over here because of that river ain't frozen. And they just graded this. And it's slick as... So I'm having to walk in the rockiest part. Uh, this is this is a part of eighty percent of the not so fun part of riding. I'm surprised the bull ain't seen me yet. They got cameras everywhere. Maybe they're snowed over. But I did wear my good baffin boots I knew I'd need them it's not really that cold it's hovering right at the freezing mark but it's a darn wind I could have crossed the yard and went up the embankment and got on that overpass and went over but they got a couple of cameras over there so up here about a mile where we're going there's an industry that looks like they have a driveway that butts up a, against the tracks. And this river goes underneath the tracks right up here. So I can cross the river there where it goes under the rails and be off property. <sighs> yeah, here's that curve. We're about halfway there. I keep checking behind me, make sure no one sneaks up. There's the overhead block. I just kind of got a chance that... I mean, you can't sit there all day in that shanty. I mean, you could. But... <sighs> I thought about staying there until dark, getting some good sleep, but... I don't want somebody to wake me up with a 9 millimeter to back behind my ear. Get up now. Let me see your hands. Well, sir, they're frozen to the concrete. I really can't hold my hands up. Well, let me put the cuffs on you. Up, oh, your wrist shattered. Those ain't gonna work. Uh, we'll just leave you. Kind of like on Terminator movie. When that guy gets the uh, liquid nitrogen spilled on him. Yeah. 
here's the main overhead for all the tracks the signal system I know they're on I can see light I just can't tell the color that's another thing with my eyes I can't tell color real good uh, I gotta switch hand uh, boy I tell you them hand warmers that was the best thing anybody ever come out with I've used like a dozen of them already I just put six or eight in each pocket yeah I really can't hold the phone with this hand two fingers they had an IM go out southbound yeah, looked like he had a good two foot of snow on each end of the cars I've done that before on grainers you just gotta take a big stick and shove off all the snow you can yeah yeah that river rarely ever freezes and if it does it sure ain't thick enough to cross not in this part of the country <sighs> Yeah, had I got on a train that had a DPU on it, he'd have just come here and crew changed and went on. I'd be in Hagerstown about right now. Oh, I smell natural gas. Yep, when I come to that bridge where the river goes under, I should be home free then just not getting caught between then and now I am surprised the bull hadn't rolled up yet maybe he's too cold anyway I gotta put my gloves back on I gotta shut the camera off I'll get it going when we get to the creek I made it off property uh, two trains and a worker went by me Didn't say nothing, but there's the tracks. I had to cross that little river bridge And then where that box is right there I crossed down and Walked across that abandoned line Finally civilization I got some unsnowed area where they paved Boy, walking through knee-deep snow with a backpack and a bucket. I'm telling you, that is some um, Stairmaster from hell. Talk about blizzard highway to heaven. God, I swear I was 10% of the way from reaching the bottom of heaven. I could have knocked on the door on their basement and got in heaven. Ah... Uh, there's the main road. I'm going to take a break. I think there's a sheet to the right. And I got to go charge up. But it was so warm. I started sweating. I had to take off my rabbit fur stuff. But I still got my bath and oh, thank God I wore these. Yeah. At least I'm off railroad property, but I know somebody probably called in on me, so I'm still not out of the woods right here. Boy, my heart's still pounding. Oh, it's good exercise, though. Glad I quit smoking. Can you imagine? Yeah, and there wasn't no footing on that little trestle bridge going across, so I had to just grin and bear it. But, yeah, there's an old abandoned line that goes behind that building there whatever they used to load or unload so find out what the next step is after I rest man I don't know how I made it off railroad property without getting caught I mean that snow was knee deep trying to I look like one of them North Korean soldiers marching my feet were up so high each step but I found a uh, place in front of a bowling alley uh, it's kind of a windbreak 
I can gather my thoughts and think of what to do next. I might have to wait till night and sneak back down in that railroad yard. It's a good catch right there at that little trestle bridge I walked across because the tail end of the train stopped right there when they crew changed up by the yard. And there's some uh, sheets not far down. I can go get coffee, but it's out in the wind and I don't feel like dealing with a bunch of people. So it's quiet here. There's some guys cleaning up trash right now. Uh, they'll be gone, but yeah, I'm right in front of the bowling alley. And there's a, uh, an outlet, an electric outlet right there. And I got plenty of water, so I'll kick it here until dark. It's about three o'clock anyway. I'll stay here a couple hours. It'll start turning. See, there's a tip. Uh, I can't zoom in now, but I've seen the tail end of a train. Yeah, the main lines are just behind that building on the right. Uh, Boy, that wind. It, it's not that cold, but it's getting colder. The Arctic air is rushing in behind. Well, this Arctic air is from Saskatchewan area. Anytime you get a Arctic air blast from out of Saskatchewan, they call it a Saskatchewan screamer. And if that high pressure, that Arctic air comes out of Alberta, they call it an Alberta clipper and so on. And the Manitoba mauler, that's if it comes out of Manitoba, but this Saskatchewan air moving in right now. But as you can see, they've already graded the snow here so and these guys here are pretty cool anyway frozen holly bush and that's it for now at least there's absolutely no wind right here then I'll go back down and catch out when it's dark well I ah, finally got into town Whew, what a walk I slept for about three and a half hours in that sh that railroad shanty I kept hearing work trucks use that shanty as a turnaround thank God none of them seen my footprints leading in the door and I I just didn't feel safe after that so I kind of walked into town a little bit more got some hot coffee I didn't have to break out that stove and all that with frozen fingers yeah it was mostly a night ride so I didn't get too much riding video we stopped a lot we stopped in Radford for about an hour for no reason I mean no train passed us then we stopped for about four hours outside the yard I just slept on and I just had a feeling there wasn't a DPU on my train so it wasn't gonna go no farther than here but uh that's why I hate getting yarded in Roanoke that's where I'm at now but I did some pretty good miles and my god it was so well worth it I would have did somersaults in the boxcar the whole way I mean, I would have slipped on my head and skipped and had there been a swimming pool in that box car, I would have went skinny dipping. I was that happy. I still am. I am. Uh, I didn't care where that train went as long as I rode. Kind of like doing a human reboot. But yeah, next week I'll see that surgeon. This is a colorectal surgeon. So I'm making progress, slow progress, but progress none the least. Uh, at least it's going somewhere because it is getting worse. It's like every day I see something new or it hurts a lot worse. And now I'm just dealing with chronic pain down below all the time now. They won't give me anything for pain until I see the surgeon. So I just, and I got to kind of watch it with that 
acetaminophen and ibuprofen. I got I can't take too much of them, so it's kind of like a catch-22. But I'm under the pine trees here, and I don't know. I may go walk around in the mall, stay warm that way. And once it turns dark, I can go down back down to the yard there. I just don't like hanging around the yard during the daytime. Hmm. Coffee already went cold, but I don't want to have to bend over and grab it. But it was a good ride. Whenever there's a lot of snow on the ground, on the tracks, it muffles the sound wave coming off the track and the axles. And it's almost like riding in a passenger train. You could feel it, but you just really, it's muffled sound when you ride with a lot of snow. I remember I caught out of Cumberland, Maryland during a snowstorm. I actually wrote a story about this in my blog. And uh, there was a good 15, 18 inches of snow once we got up in the Appalachian Mountains. But my God. When I went to get out of that boxcar, the snow was so deep, it was only like a foot from the bottom of the door, bottom of the boxcar, it was that deep. So when I bailed out, it was like belly button deep. And that, I mean, you almost have to dig your way out of that to go anywhere. Thank God I was close to a road that had been graded. But, I don't know, I just love winter rides. But... Yeah, I'm wearing my other hat. I'm trying to debate on which one's warmer. I think that black one is. They're both 62 centimeter head, but this one fits a lot tighter. They're made in uh, the Ukraine. Uh, oh, they're, they're good quality. I've never had no problem with them yet. But I thought I'd update you and hope you enjoy the video.